Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Honest Government Ad AUKUS. And I believe this is a treaty between Australia, the UK, and the US. So United Kingdom and United States. Uh I love the juice media. I love these honest government ad videos. They be killing me. I'm ready to laugh, so we gonna jump in. Before we do, make sure you subscribe, ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up. Let's do this. Hello, I'm from the Australian government. Now that we've completed our 20 year mission in Afghanistan by handing it back to the Taliban, it's time to blindly follow the American empire into another massive shit show. Introducing our <coughs> new military partnership, AUKUS. You see, China's government, the CCP, has been a dickhead lately, threatening Taiwan, imprisoning millions in Xinjiang, illegally Dang. occupying islands in the South China Sea. Not that Dang. we give a shit about that. AUKUS allies are experts at illegally. <coughs> Not that we give a crap about that. I China's <laughs> China throwing their force around, you feel me? That's what it sounds like to me. China's out here throwing their force around. I ain't seeing that it's right. I'm seeing that's what's happening. Well, I, what was she about to say? In the South China Sea? Not that we give a shit about that. AUKUS allies are experts at illegally occupying islands like the Chagos Islands, where the Brits kicked out all the natives to build a US military base. An occupation wow. the ICJ has just ruled to be unlawful. Or like Guam and Hawaii. And well, all of Australia. But what worries us... Don't Hawaii... Do Hawaii not belong to the US? Is Hawaii... I'm tri... I might be true. I... Hawaii is a part of the U.S., right? Or did we take Hawaii in a terrible fashion? Or like Guam and Hawaii and, well, all of Australia. But what worries us is that the CCP is trying to be as big a dickhead as us. And we can't <laughs> have that, which is why we need AUKUS. AUKUS. <laughs> to join AUKUS, we tore up a $90 billion submarine contract with the French and didn't even bother telling them in advance. AUKUS. Oh. Lol, remember how we said we couldn't cancel that billion dollar contract with Adani because it would create sovereign risk? So now you know we're full of shit. But hey, look on the bright side. <laughs> By bullshitting and stabbing an ally in the back, now the whole world knows what it's like to be an Aussie under this government. Hey, Australian government, they just saw a better deal. <laughs> It sounds like they just saw a better deal. I said, you know what? If we hook up with the UK and the US, that's that's some military power right there, dog. Got the top military power in the world, I would assume, in the US. And UK got a pretty great military. So, <laughs> Australia said they can't get out of certain deals. When they saw a deal that, that looked better to them, they said, you know what, actually, I, I think we can get out of this deal. We just didn't want to get out of that deal, but we're we going to go ahead and betray friends and let's kick it with the U.S. and the U.K. In the back, now the whole world knows what it's like to be an Aussie under this government. I am, you are, we are of course, our real sovereign risk is this guy. Because without consulting Parliament, Scotty from announcements decided to buy nuclear-powered subs yeah. from the US. And since we can't fuel, maintain or deploy nuclear subs, that means he's chained our long-term defence policy to the US. Yes. You know, the country that's on the brink of civil war. Where the uh. <laughs> So he bought the nuclear sub without being able to actually use them if necessary? Oh Jesus! Oh, <laughs> oh my God! Yeah. Long-term okay. defense policy to the U.S. You know the country that's on the brink of civil war, where the current leader can't remember our one's name, and the previous one still doesn't accept the outcome of the last election. Cool and oh. normal, pal. <laughs> Another perk of us having nuclear subs is that Australia will be a potential target for nuclear strikes. Oh, really? It also makes everyone less safe by weakening nuclear non-proliferation standards. But the best part of AUKUS is that we have no idea how much it'll fucking cost. Low estimates start at a hundred billion dollars in a country that can't seem to. Low estimates start at a hundred billion dollar. Oh my god. I mean, the U.S., I mean, spend ridiculous amount on military budgets, spend over like $600 billion. But, hey, if we have so much more population than Australia, 
fucking cost. Low estimates start at $100 billion. In a country that can't seem to afford $80 a day to lift people out of poverty or fund the NDIS or housing affordability mm. and mental health. Which is why the biggest fuck you of this deal isn't to France or China, but to every one of you. Fuck you. Yes. Some say the best way of responding to the CCP's shit fuckery is to form stronger relationships with our close neighbours and together apply firm, consistent and united diplomacy, which is probably true. But then we wouldn't be able to wedge Labour on national <laughs> security at the coming election. And that's what this bullshit announcement is really all about. Australian Government. Hey. Authorised by the Department for Announcements and Photo Opportunities. Sound like Australian Government, just like American Government. Don't give a F about the people. That's what it's starting to sound like. Uh, but... <laughs> That was why, like I said, I love the videos. That was wild. Um, yeah, I don't know how. I never get into this stuff, so I don't know how AUKUS like really affects Australia, affects the U.S., affects the U.K. I, I'm not completely sure, but that was funny. That's all we got. Make sure y'all subscribe, ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up. It's your boy Dina out.